Hi, I'm your host, Dee Dee Che. Audio Builders TV presents Effects Pedals with Adam Brilla. Adam has over 1,000 pedals in his collection. Through his business, Stompbox Sonic, Adam offers personal consultations to help his customers navigate all those switches and blinking lights so they can bring their music to life. Audio Builders TV is produced by the students of Conquer Carlisle High School with help from Colonial Sound and CCTV. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and subscribe to our mailing list at audiobuildersworkshop.com. <laughs> Audio Builders. Audio Builders Workshop is a work group for the Boston chapter of the Audio Engineering Society. I am playing a 1962 Fender Jaguar. It's a little beat up um, and it's had some modifications done to it. Uh, it's got three Fender Jaguar pickups in it. It's been rewired so that each of these switches um, selects the pickup. So if all three are up, if they're all on, if they're all down, nothing. Um, it has a roll off for the high end here. It switches to these controls. And uh, another neat modification is this switch here. If this is up and the neck pickup is on, whichever other pickup I add, it goes into humbucker mode for a thicker, fuller sound. And um, yeah, it's a cool guitar. I've had it for a number of years. Um, when I got it, it had been badly beaten and neglected. It didn't have any pickups and uh, there were Twinkie wrappers and hockey and basketball cards stuffed inside of it. Um, the previous owner had tried to paint over it with the black paint, um, but never stripped the white paint off. Um, and they also sanded off the Fender logo for some reason. Um, but anyway, I've been playing it and enjoying it. And uh, you can see the black has chipped and worn off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been a great workhorse guitar. Anyway, we're going to go through some pedals here. Um, and so the selection here, a number of different builders, and um, some of the interesting ways that we can manipulate um, the pedals without uh, having to necessarily touch the knobs. Um, you know, typically you would have, you know, you activate the pedal and then you tweak the knob, any switches um, to change the sound. Um, but a lot of builders are adding features that let you change the sound either through your playing dynamics or uh, by interacting with the effect in a different way. Um, I'll kind of go down the list here uh, from Ranger Effects. Uh, we have the uh, dwarf bleep, which is kind of a noise maker, uh, fuzz, um, wild card of a pedal. It's a lot of fun. Um, but uh, David Ranger, the, uh, the builder, has come up with this Igor uh, pressure sensitive pad. So you actually uh, change parameters on his pedals with this baby by how hard do you press on the pedal, um, on the pad. And he has a tremolo and a delay on auto filter and you know some other effects which also use this. But uh, I went with the, the Dr. Freakenstein uh, dwarf bleep just because it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, next up we have the Maxon auto filter or auto wah. And uh, you may be familiar with the traditional wah while a pedal that you you know rock with your foot to change the tone sweep of the pedal, this will do it based on your playing dynamics. Um, the trim pedal from Alberg Audio lets you interact with the pedal in a couple of different ways. Um, you have the ability to change the uh, tempo um, through the knob. You can tap the tempo in, and they also have this Bluetooth wireless controller that lets you change the effects parameters as well. Um, and you can control multiple uh, Allberg effects with that as well. 
Uh, the Zvex Tremolo Probe is a volume pedal um, that gives you more or less sound based on your proximity to this copper plate here. Uh, the Neptune, or I'm sorry, the Optune <laughs> from Tortuga FX um, is a vibrato um, and it has this optical sensor. So the effect uh, intensity is um, impacted by how much light goes into this little guy here. Uh, the Strymon Brigadier Delay um, has a few ways you can control it as well. You've got uh, tap tempo for the delay uh, time, and then you can hook up an expression pedal. I have a, a Dunlop volume expression pedal here, um, and I've set it to control the feedback of the delay, but um, but they've designed the pedal in such a way that you could change any any one parameter. And uh, there are a lot of different pedals out there on the market that let you uh, control and interact with the pedals in a number of different ways. Um, there are even um, some pedals not represented here, but uh, you have uh, the MIDI control where you can turn the pedals on and off, change the effects, um, the parameters, uh, settings, um, and even sync pedals together using uh, MIDI signal. So, uh, but we won't get into that today. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through these guys here, make some sound, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy. So starting off with the Dr. Freakenstein. It's fun, we can actually change what the Igor does by these controls here. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, it's very unique fuzz, um, capable of some really amazing sounds, and then the added um, pressure pad, um, you know, I'm using my hand, but obviously you can have this on the floor and use your foot and stand on it and, uh, and get, get all sorts of sounds. Um, moving over to the Maxon here. So again, this is the auto wah, auto filter. And the sweep of the filter is affected by how hard or soft I play. Berg, the tremolo. So, you know, I can adjust it here. I can uh, activate the tap tempo here, or so I think. <laughs> okay. And now, uh, let's see, we'll use this guy. So, I don't know if you can see. Changing the speed with the controller here. And then I can toggle through the different settings. So now I'm going to affect the tremolo shape. 
shape of the waveform. And now I can, the intensity. And some players will, uh, if they are using the, uh, the controller, you know, there's a little Velcro, uh, piece of Velcro here, so you could Velcro it onto your guitar strap. I've seen some players have it here or somewhere on their guitar so they can on the fly be manipulating control of the, uh, the Albert effects. So it's a lot of fun because, you know, again, you're, you can kind of be anywhere. Uh, you're not tied to, you know, again, being at your pedal board. Um, you don't have to be near a device like an expression pedal. Um, you can just have your wireless controller and be changing the uh, settings on the fly. Um, and moving over to the Zvex Tremolo probe, and they have a whole series um, of of this style pedal. They have a um, a wah and a fuzz as well, um, but the uh, the volume tremolo. Um, it's a lot of fun. So pedals activated and there's no sound. And as we get closer to the uh, comp copper plate here, we're gonna get more signal. So it's almost like uh, if you think about how you would control or manipulate a theremin, it's, it's very much the same principle. And um, Like a like a tremolo pedal that you make your own pattern. So, a lot of fun. And uh, moving on to the op tune, the vibrato. So I have the um, the depth cranked here for demonstration purposes, but as we uh, obscure the sensor here, it's going to change the sound of the effect. to the Brigadier with a delay. So uh, what's great about this, um, so w we can be changing two of the effects parameters on the fly without you know, needing to adjust the knobs on the front. That was kind of a quick delay, but we can slow it down. And so right now we're just getting single repeat, but as I increase the expression pedal, we're going to get more repeats.
Well, hopefully that gives you a sense of uh, some of the ways that you can manipulate uh, effects pedals um, and uh, just ways to open up creativity and interacting with your sound. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, my, my name is Adam from Soundbox Sonic, and you are watching Audio Builders Television. Thank you. <laughs>